All right, we're here with uh, Chris Rodriguez, and uh, if you would please raise your hand so we can get some questions to him. Our okay, first question is Gary Graves. Go ahead, Gary. Hey, Chris, um, Eddie was just saying that, you know, you're running um, angry last, you know, last year, and that's carried over to this year. I guess what's kind of spurred that for you, and, and how much do you feel like, you know, you've improved um, you know, from last season to this season? Uh, well, it comes from, like, that's always been my type of running style or whatever. And uh, from last year, I feel like I improved a little bit. Uh, I feel like I got to improve more on my speed and my awareness of things, uh, awareness of the defense and all that. But um, I feel like I improved a little bit, so. John Clay? Chris, what's it been like for you guys playing with limited fans the first two weeks? And are you a guy that gets energy off the fans? And is it harder, harder to do that with the, not the big crowds that you're used to? Uh, I mean, I feel like everybody – Every team always gets energy from the fans, no matter if it's half the stadium or a full stadium. That, that's where you build momentum. You make a big play, the fans go crazy, and obviously everybody feeds off of that. Could you – you had 17 carries the most of your career so far. Could you feel it the next day? Oh, yeah. I felt it, but, uh, I mean – we always have a 24 hour uh, clock in our head where eventually everything has to restart, no matter if it's, you know, a win or a lose or, or anything like my body was hurting, but I'm back. I'm good. I think more importantly, could you feel it during the game or, or are you, are you one of those guys where you, you'll take whatever carries they'll give you? Yeah. I, I just take what they give me my number call. It's time for me to step up to the plate. I'm good. Chris, building off that a little bit with Cavassier out, do you anticipate you and AJ taking on a larger role? And, and then also, what have you seen from uh, Jatan and Travis to those guys if, if they need to contribute? Uh, yeah, I mean, of course, because, I mean, Smoke's out. He was probably the next backup. But, I mean, we all have our roles or whatever. Uh, Jatan and Travis, they've been working their butts off every day since the season started. And uh, I don't know. They might get some playing time this week. Yeah, Spencer. Yeah, Chris. If Eddie pretty much just leans on on you and AJ, that will mean more carries for you in the long run. Do you do you feel like that? Maybe because you're a bigger back who can move and and, and punish some defenses. Do you think that will help you and, and help this offense for for you guys to be able to get a, a few more touches? Uh. Yeah, probably, but I mean, back in our room can do just about as much as everybody else can. Josh Moore. Hey, Chris. How are you guys coping with this start? I know uh, you're in both games, and in some ways, you there are a few things go your way, and you're two and zero instead of zero and two. Just kind of, what's the mood like? Uh, been with you guys this week? Uh, like I said earlier, uh, we have a 24 hour clock in our heads. So after, after that, uh, Sunday's over with is on to the next week, week three. Jeff Drummond. Hey, uh, Chris, uh, coach Grant just got finished telling us, uh, you know, about Mississippi state allowing something like 2.8 yards per carry to one opponent under two yards to the other. Do you guys take that as a challenge and, and, and kind of give you some extra uh, motivation for this one? Uh, well, well, all I got to say about that is uh, Mississippi State, they do what they do. We got a game plan, and we're going to go execute. Long. Hey, Chris, when A.J. broke off that big run at the very beginning and then started his premature celebration, what, 
What do you think was going on with that? Have you and he talked about about that? Uh, you know, I, that's the 24-hour clock. We're moved on from that. Uh, I spoke to AJ. He spoke to media or whatever. But 24-hour clock, that's that's over with. So there wasn't anything planned ahead of time about some sort of celebration? No. Okay, looks like that's it for questions for Chris. And we appreciate uh, Chris your time today. Appreciate and it. We'll have uh, Landon Hill here shortly. Okay.